Let's look at proportions in similar figures. What does it mean when we say we have two similar figures? A similar figure is like a scale model. It can be thought of as an enlargement or reduction of the original without any distortions. For two polygons to be considered similar, their corresponding angles must be the same measure, and their corresponding sides need to be proportional. The ratio of the lengths of corresponding sides in two similar figures is also known as the similarity ratio. So let's look at some examples. We have two pentagons, night and power, and they're similar. Therefore, we know the corresponding angles must be equal. Can you tell me the measure of angle R? Well, angle R corresponds to angle T, so the measure must be 100 degrees. We also notice that the side TH corresponds to the side RE. So what is the similarity ratio of night to power? Well, side TH is 8 centimeters, and side RE is 10 centimeters, so the ratio is 8 to 10. What if I asked for the similarity ratio for power to night? Well, that would just be 10 to 8. And if I only asked, what is the similarity ratio for this problem, either answer would have been correct. So, how can we use this? Well, if I knew the side WE measures 6 inches, we could find the length of GH by setting up a ratio. Since GH is the corresponding side in night, the ratio of night to power is 8 to 10, and X and 6 are the measurements of corresponding sides. The X is located on the polygon night, so we put it across from the 8 in our ratio. And the 6 is in the polygon power, so we would put it across from the 10. We'd cross multiply to simplify that, getting 10X equals 48, or X equals 4.8. What if we knew IG is 4 inches and OW is N plus 2 inches? And we wanted to find the value of N. Again, we'd set up our similarity ratio. 4 and n plus 2 are the measurements of corresponding sides. So again, we're looking at night to power. Our ratio is 8 to 10 is equal to 4 to n plus 2. We'll be using cross multiplying to solve this, giving us 8 times the quantity n plus 2 equals 40, or 8n plus 16 equals 40, 8n equals 24, n is equal to 3. You've probably noticed that 8 tenths could have been reduced to 4 fifths, and I usually would have done that. But in this case, I found some of the math was easier when I didn't reduce it. So what would be the similarity ratio for perimeter of two similar polygons? Well, I've gone ahead and filled in the rest of the lengths of the sides. So by adding the distance around, we find that night has a perimeter of 25.6 and power has a perimeter of 32. So the ratio for the perimeter would be night over power or 25.6 over 32. Well, that's not an easy fraction to reduce, so I'm going to plug it into my calculator and get 0 0.8, which is 8 tenths, the same ratio I had for the sides. So it looks like when we have a perimeter for two similar figures, that ratio is the same as the ratio was for the sides. That makes sense to me. When we're looking at the perimeter, the units didn't change, so I wouldn't expect the ratio to change. That covers the basics, so let's try solving some problems. Let's compare two trapezoids. On the left, we have the trapezoid trap, and on the right, we have the trapezoid zoid. So I'm going to leave you with questions to solve. What is the measure of angle Z? Find the similarity ratio of the sides trap to zoid. And last, if the perimeter of trap is 26 centimeters, what is the perimeter of zoid? Pause the video and work out these answers, then unpause the video, and we'll go over it together. Since similar polygons, corresponding angles are equal, the angle Z must be equal to 60, since its corresponding angle is T, and that measures 60 degrees. To find the similarity ratio, we simply find the measure of corresponding sides for trap and zoid. We could use 9 to 63, which simplifies to 1 7th. Now we're going to find the perimeter of zoid. We know the perimeter of trap is 26 centimeters, and since the ratio for the perimeter is the same as the ratio for the sides, we can set up the proportion. 1 7th is equal to 26 over x, which we simplify to x is equal to 7 times 26, which multiplies out to 182. So zoid has a perimeter of 182 centimeters. Now let's see if we can help out Sam. Sam needs to determine the height of the tree nearest to the school. When he stood his yardstick perpendicular to the ground, he found the shadow was four feet long. 
Then he measured the length of the tree's shadow and found it was 24 feet long. How tall is the tree? Pause the video while you're figuring out the height, then unpause the video and check your answer. Well, I'm going to be looking at the yardstick to the tree. So my shadow for my yardstick was 4 feet, and the shadow for my tree is 24 feet. And that's going to be equal to the height of my yardstick, which of course is 3 feet, over the height of the tree, which we're trying to find out. 4 over 24 is 1 sixth. So I'll reduce my fraction and then cross multiply to find the answer, which leaves me with x is equal to 18. So the tree is 18 feet tall. Similar figures occur a lot in real life, whether one is measuring the height of a tree or making a scale model before working on a large project. Being able to find the similarity ratio, also known as the scale, and knowing how to calculate the dimensions are useful skills to have.